Okay, now let's uh, take a look at uh, the Pulse range of uh, hardware. Uh, we have Pulse for uh, uh, our own brand and we source this hardware from all over uh, Asia mostly but also some parts of Europe. Uh, Pulse is our own brand and we have hardware for uh, aluminium uh, doors and windows, UPVC doors and windows and let's now take a look at uh, the various uh, uh, hardwares that are products that are available with us. Let's first look at the Pulse aluminium range of uh, hardware and Okay, we have the PL205G, it's a multi-point locking handle, uh, you see the fork here, this is for aluminium, uh, then we have PL205S, that too is a multi-point locking handle, the shape is slightly different, here it's more uh, rectangular whereas the previous one was uh, more curved and then we have a multi-point locking handle PL205T and this one has uh, a key with it, multi-point locking handle PL205U, it's a little different shape. Then we have the detachable handle PL205DC, that's a multi-point locking handle and remember here the, the detachable part, the lever part comes along with the handle, it's not separately named. In the single point locking handle we have PL205H, uh, this is a single point locking handle. This kind of a handle you can change the handle from left to right. Uh, this is a single point locking handle PL205M with a key and a thumb press. So you need to unlock the handle and then press this uh, thumb press here and then the handle uh, operates otherwise it will not operate and this handle uh, comes separately for a left and right version because you cannot change uh, the orientation of the handle in such a case because the this locking part is an integral part of the handle. Okay, this is a cuttle wall arm PL205A10. That's a concealed tower bolt. In case you have uh, a double sash casement, then uh, you can use on the slave sash the concealed tower bolt PL304B uh, that's the number uh, then we have friction hinges for light duty applications uh, the stack height that is the if you see carefully here the stack height is shown that's the stack height for aluminium the stack height used is 13 millimeters the this is the total depth here that is 13 millimeters and then we have friction hinges which can carry a maximum vent weight of uh, uh, 35 kilos uh, from uh, in the top hung range and in the side hung range a maximum vent uh, weight of 24 kilos. This is friction hinges for aluminium uh, for heavy duty applications. The HD, the difference between light duty, uh, it is PL, LD means light duty, T means top hung, and PL, LD means pulse, light duty, uh, side hung, and then the rest of the thing. Here you have PL Pulse HD Heavy Duty Top Hung T and PL Pulse HD Heavy Duty Side Hung S. Uh, maximum vent weight possible on a top hung is 90 kilos and maximum vent weight possible on a side hung is 42 kilos. Then we have the PL304 AW Mortise Handle for Doors. A door hinge, uh, PL304AX, 
Then we have sliding window hardware from Pulse. PL403AM, this is a sliding lock. Mind you, the nibs and the counter plates uh, are from Alu Alpha that go with the Pulse hardware. This is another sliding window lock PL403A. Then we have a central handle. This is mounted on a, on a two track two sash. The, at the center of the window there will be two sashes overlapping each other. Two members of uh, the sashes overlapping each other and this is used uh, to lock uh, those two central members of the two sashes. PL403BH, PL403BX. The difference here is BX is with a key. Here we have a roller PL403RL. A roller is mounted on ball bearings and uh, this is with nylon uh, casing and it's meant for aluminium windows. Sliding door hardware from Pulse PL502AM sliding lock. Let's have a look at Pulse UBVC range of hardware quickly. For a casement window, that's the hardware that will be used. Uh, you'll have for a silent window a friction inch at the bottom, a friction inch at the top. Uh, the handle, then what you call an S Pagnolet, this is mounted on the sash and the strikers these are the locking points will be mounted on the frame for a top hung window the friction hinges will be mounted on the two vertical sides and this is showing a single point handle or a cockspur handle as it is called the cockspur handle will be mounted on the sash and the locking point of the cockspur handle will be mounted on the frame this is how an espagnolet looks like and there are three sizes available uh, 800 millimeters, 1000 millimeters and 1200 millimeters that's the total length here then the L1 and L2 signifies if you have an L1 it is the distance between the topmost locking point and the bottommost locking point here if there is another locking point in between then L2 also will be mentioned so in the first one PL1021 you have an L1 given here but there is no L2 which signifies that this uh, particular span has two locking points again 10231 you have an L1 specified but not L2 so this two has only two locking points whereas the 10241 has an L1 as well as an L2 specified which means it has three locking points. The back set of the SPAC is the center point here, distance between the center point here and the point here. That is the back set. Our SPACs come with 19.5 millimeter back set for the Euro type profiles. Uh, there are profiles like uh, profiles that come from uh, Encraft which do not have the standard Euro groove. So they are called the British type and we have SPACs for the British type of profiles also. Here the back set is 20 millimeters. These are the strikers for the different uh, UPVC profiles which uh, we supply. We have strikers for Aluplast, Conch, that's Chinese, Comerlin, German, NCL Vintech, Turkish origin extruded in India, Rihau, German origin extruded in Singapore, Shide, Chinese, Veka, German origin profile extruded in China, uh, Winhaus, Turkish profile, Zongkai, Chinese profile. These are the handles that we can have. This is a standard window handle. Uh, 
there, there's a spindle and there'll be two screws here, one screw over here and one screw beneath the handle that you see here, okay, for uh, mounting the handle. This is a handle which has a thumb press and a key. So the color would be white here. This is 10121 and this is 10131. The difference is that 10131 has a thumb press and a key attached to it. <coughs> this is a single point locking handle, Cockspur handle. And uh, since uh, the locking point here is an integral part of the handle, uh, it cannot be changed from right and left. Therefore, you have to have two handles, one for the left and one for the right hand doors. Friction hinges for uh, the UPVC have a stack height of 16 millimeters as opposed to 13 millimeter stack height in aluminium friction hinges. PLLDMA is a friction are the friction hinges for a UPVC and uh, the maximum weight weight of 24 can be uh, taken for a side hand. doors they'll be having uh, the hinges 3d hinges uh, there could be a, a concealed tower bolt if it's a double sash casement uh, then on the uh, this is a french door uh, that is shown so there'll be an spag here a special kind of spag these handles are meant for these kinds of spags uh, this mortise handle will go here. That's the locking cylinder which will go here and uh, These locking points will come on the dummy mullion on the slave sash here and then hinges again 